Hello, my sewing friends. I wanted to talk to you about this dress and a concept. And the concept is the way that when you make a pattern exactly like it's shown, you follow all the directions, you do it exactly as the pattern says, and you end up with exactly what the pattern said you were gonna end up with. In other words, what you made looks just like the pattern, and yet it still doesn't suit you for some reason. Well, I did that with this dress. This is Butterick 6185. I have it here, but I'm gonna put it on the screen. And I made the dress, which is view C. This dress, I had such high hopes for. And I really did follow it to the letter. I made one fit adjustment, but that had nothing to do with design adjustments. The only real design adjustment I made was out of necessity because this is two collars and not just one. I didn't realize this is a separate collar underneath and not just a piece of trim that went around this. And so I kind of backed up and thought, ah, how do I fix that? And I used some quilt binding that I had. Uh, so I made no design changes and I got it finished and I tried it on and I tried it on as I went too, but I got it finished and I thought, this looks exactly like the pattern envelope. And when you're new to sewing, that's the whole point, isn't it? You look at the pattern envelope and you think, that's what I want. I want exactly that. So then you know you've got the right size, you make all the fitting changes that you need to make, if any, and then you make it, you hem it, you finish it in whatever way you have to, and then you put it on and you go, that looks exactly like the pattern envelope, but wait a minute, that's not what I thought was gonna happen. Well, in this case, this dress has extended shoulder seams, which if you look really carefully at the photograph on the envelope, the pattern envelope, it does have a bit of an extended shoulder seam. And I didn't know that was going to happen. And then I tried it on and it just looks, I don't know, doesn't look right on me. <laughs> it just doesn't look like I want it to look. I think it looks like it's too big. And this is a fairly unstructured dress as well. So because it's loose fitting, then if you add this, it looks like it's just too big. So. I thought it was going to have a little more shape to it than it does also. And if you look at the pattern envelope, it does look fairly up and down straight, not a whole lot of shape to it, but that was going to be okay. Well, obviously I finished it, I tried it on, I thought, okay, for my body, this needs some fisheye darts in the back to kind of pull it into shape a little bit. Not to make it really close fitting or form fitting, but simply to give it a little more shape. And also, I gotta fix this because I don't like the way this kind of pulls out and just makes it look too big. Uh, so I'm playing with the idea of doing a cut in shoulder and coming down like that and just, um, making the shoulder seam kind of shorter than the collar, you know, so that it comes up like at a slant under the collar. Or I'll just make it so that it falls where it should. I'm not sure which. I'm, I'm leaning towards this, though. But that's what I can do design-wise to fix this problem of it looking just like the pattern, but not to my liking, even though I thought it was going to be to my liking. This is a very simple, basic thing in sewing that happens all the time. But I wanted to point it out so that I could um, encourage you, if you're new to sewing and you think, but I thought that was going to be so great, and now look at it. Well, yeah, true, it happens. We learn as we go, obviously, I'm all about learning as I go. And a lot of my projects that I take on I ended up getting them finished and then thinking, mm, no, that is not what I wanted. This is more like what I wanted, or this is more well like what I wanted, or if I'm going to accomplish what I want, I'm gonna to have to do this, this, and this. And so sometimes that means tearing it all apart and putting it back together again. 
Well, I don't think that's going to be the case in this case, but it happens. And so I wanted to encourage you by telling you, huh, here's an example of where that happened. And I will show you how I fix it in my February makes video, which will be coming up later. But until then, just hang in there and know that you're in control of the pattern and the process. So if you want to hack it up, if you want to change it up, if you want to do anything different that you want to do, that's entirely up to you because you have all that power. And you do not have to adhere to what this says, and especially not if it doesn't suit you once you get it finished and it's exactly like it was on the pattern envelope. So be encouraged sewing power. Yeah. That's it for now for me and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.